Good day. This is question 1C of the 2022 NCA Level 1 Geometric Reasoning Paper. And today we are going to try to do this because this is an excellent question. If you get this right, you can get either E7 or E8. Without further ado, let's read the question. Part of the winding mechanism of a crane is shown below. The shape of the winding mechanism is a regular pentagon with each outside length measuring 12 meters. So all of them outside are 12 meters, okay? From corner to corner as shown above. And remember, this is a regular polygon, means they have the same uh, length and the same angle. The winding mechanism has five metal arms. So these are all the arms, one, two, three, four, five. Each arm is attached to the center O and to the corner of the pentagon. What is the total length of all the five pentagon? Okay, uh, five metal arms. So without further ado, let's try to solve. So if we look at one of this uh, triangle, we take it out, okay? So A, O, and B, we put the midpoint as M, okay? And make it a 90 degrees angle, then we can calculate them, okay? So the first thing we need to do is that we are going to find the angle, this angle here, okay? If the total is 360, you get to take 360 divided by 5. So each angle, so each interior angle, each angle in the middle, okay? So we're going to put that angle as angle BOA, okay, that angle there, is going to be 360 divided by 5, and that is going to be 72. If you're going to break them up into half, okay? So each angle is going to be half an angle, half of angle BOA, okay, or also called angle, this, this is the mid, midpoint M, so angle MOA is going to be half of 72, okay, and that will be 36 degrees. Okay, so that angle there is going to be 36, okay, so now we are going to find one length of OA. To get one length, then there are five of them. We multiply by five, we should be able to solve it. Okay. So to find OA, we need to look at this triangle. So this is the same triangle as this. Okay. O B O A. So we're going to use one of them. So this is the angle. So this is the opposite, and this is the 90 degrees. So that must be the hypotenuse. Opposite 90 degrees is the hypotenuse. So we have to use sine theta. Okay. Sine 36 equals to O over H. So we're going to be sine 36 equals to opposite, which is 6 over x. To calculate your hypotenuse, the OA, x, is going to be, you uh, you swap the places, okay? Equals 6 over sine 36. Put in your calculator, and the answer is going to be 10.2078. Because there are 5 of this metal thing, so 5 of x is going to be 5 times multiplied by 10.2078, and the answer is going to be 51.04 meters. So the total of all the five metal pole is going to be five multiplied by each of them is 10.2078 and the answer is 51.04. And that is the merit in this question. Okay, now we shall do the excellence question. The excellence question is very similar, but in terms of algebra. Okay, so we shall read the question. Okay, so when the winding machine is the shape of a regular n polygon, so this is you do not know how how many sides there are. So we assume we use the pentagon. So it's n, okay? Each side outside measures two z instead of twelve previously. Now it's two z. So if we break them down, the triangle BOA, okay, BOA, two z. So half of that is z and z, okay? And the, we have to find the length OA or we leave it bx, okay? Calculate the total length of the metal arm. Give your answers in terms of n and z, okay? So what we do is that we are going to find the angle here as usual, okay? So if the total is 360 in a revolution, so one of the angle is going to be each angle of B O A. So one of that angle is going to be 360 divided by number of sides. Then there are n sides, so we put 360 divided by n. But if we want to have it to make it a right angle triangle, and this is represented by letter M, okay? The middle part is called M, okay, midpoint. Then that angle, that little angle there, is going to be 360, half of it. So 360 over N, half of it becomes 360 over 2N, okay? So that angle now is going to be 360. So half the angle is going to be 360 over N divided by 2 
or times half and then it's going to be 360 over 2n or simplify them to be 180 over n so that angle is going to be 180 divided by n okay so that half of the angle is 180 divided by n okay so now we are going to solve it again using this triangle okay so this the what we have done before this is the opposite and this is the hypotenuse because the longer side is the on opposite the 90 degrees so now you know that we are going to put in into the so Cartoon because the O and H is going to be sine. Sine theta equals to opposite over hypotenuse. Now we substitute the value sine 180 over N, that is the angle there, equals to opposite which is Z over X. Remember we are trying to find X, okay? So to get X, we just need to swap the numbers, okay? To find X, we need to swap the numbers. So X goes up. So X equals to Z divided by sine 180 over n okay so that is how you calculate but remember there are five of there are n of this length so you don't know how many of them so it's both, and if there are if there are n metal poles okay then the total okay i'm going to put up with because they are running short okay then 5x will be equal to 5 no not 5n times z over sine 180 over n so the answer is going to be nz over sine 180 over n so that is how you calculate the sum of all the metal poles in the n-sided polygon so that is an excellence if you can get this you either get uh, M E7 or E8 in this paper and anyway to pass this paper you only need a E7 to get a achieve in this paper so hopefully you can do this question keep practicing and see whether you can solve it in the uh, future cheers everyone and have a good day